fluid statics so what is fluid statics in fluid statics we study the properties of fluid at rest so it is the study of fluid at rest means no motion condition so in fluid statics we study we study the fluids at rest means the fluid is not in motion it is actually in rest so next moving to fluids in motion okay so when the fluids are in motion there we have two components of study the first component is fluid kinematics and the second component is fluid dynamics so in fluids in motion we have two things one is fluid kinematics and fluid dynamics so let us know what is fluid kinematics and what is fluid dynamics so there is one difference between these two studies first if, uh, the only difference which we have the major difference between these two type of study is in fluid kinematics pressure forces are not considered and in fluid dynamics the pressure forces are considered so we have one basic difference between fluid kinematics and fluid dynamics the difference is in fluid kinematics the pressure forces are not considered and in fluid dynamics the pressure forces are considered okay so now we have completed the division of the work fluid mechanics now we will study some basic properties of fluid some basic properties of fluids so fluid is having lot of properties but the properties which we use commonly in the study we will be discussing those things okay so first property is the fluid density we denote it with the symbol rho okay so first property is fluid density so what is fluid density the fluid density is mass of the fluid divided by the volume of the fluid the mass of the fluid divided by the volume of the fluid so if we see is si unit what will be is si unit the si unit for mass is kilogram and for volume is meter cube so this is the si unit for fluid density now in note since we are dealing mostly with water we should remember the fluid density of water so the rho of water is one thousand kilogram per meter cube or if you write in gram per centimeter cube it comes out to be 1 gram per centimeter cube we we also write it as 1 gram per cc where 
cc is actually equal to centimeter cube okay now in fluids we have liquids and we have gases if we see the density of liquids it remains constant but of gases it changes with temperature and pressure so the density of liquids it remains constant it does not change with the temperature or pressure but of gases it changes with temperature and pressure okay so this is what is fluid density we'll be using it in our further study when the course moves on so we will move to the second property the second property is specific weight or weight density specific weight or weight density so what is this specific weight or weight density it is nothing but the weight of fluid divided by the volume of the fluid so it is basically the weight of the fluid divided by the volume of the fluid so what is the weight of a fluid can write rho into g weight of the fluid by volume of the fluid is actually sorry is actually mass into the acceleration due to gravity that is the weight of the fluid the mass of the fluid into the g which is acceleration due to gravity divided by the volume okay so we just read this quantity this is nothing but rho and this is g so we have specific weight is nothing but rho into g and we denote it with the symbol w so what will be its unit the unit will be kg of g its meter per second square and for b is meter cube this is actually newton so the unit of specific weight is newton per meter cube so what is the space so if we see the specific weight of water it will come to be 1000 into 9.81 newton per meter cube that is nothing but 9810 newton per meter cube so this is the specific weight of water next we will move to specific volume it's a simple thing the specific volume of a fluid is just 1 by 1 by 1 